a disability check and he just claimed that he's working on video. Intelligent. Intelligent. Pretty sad the only thing you've got is racist and there's so many racists standing over here but yet you're the if you're all white over there. So who's the racist now? You're on. He can't even come up with a definition for racist. You're so ignorant you're not even worth our time. Just stand over there and waste your breath. God bless you. God bless you too. This is Mrs. Princess. What do you think about that? <laughs> Disruption. racist. We're here standing up for our Second Amendment. We're here stand up for our freedoms. And then we had Antifa show up saying that we are racist. We have every race out here standing with us fighting for our rights and they're calling us racist. That's not cool. This is not not about race. This is about our freedoms, our liberties, our Second Amendment, our First Amendment. God bless you, brother. Have a good day.
bottom line is, we are not racist. We are constitutionalists. We believe in our constitution. This is a constitution. This is a constitutional republic. You're a paranoid liar. Why am I paranoid? That's all you got, so all I've heard is racist and go away and paranoid. Can you say something that really means something? that are here fighting for our Constitution, fighting for all Americans of all sizes, shapes, colors, sexual orientation. Nobody here cares what color you are, who you sleep with at night. That's not why we're here. Yeah. You have no dialogue with the rear dumb when you run your horn all you want. We're here for one reason and we're going to finish that reason. That's redress the grievances. The people are tired. The people are pissed off. And we are going to do something about it. We have. Oh, and by the way, did you see Nancy Pelosi got a petition to be impeached with 185,000 signatures? Woo! And crickets. Crickets. First off, there are children present, so watch your dialogue. Second off, if you want to sit down and have an intelligent dialogue, we're up for that. If you want to sit there and scream racist, bigot, pig, have a foul mouth, that just shows your Democratic leaders and the trash they're carrying within. Now, if you can define racism, we'll talk about that. What's racism? Let's define it. Let's define the last person within the United States to ever own another individual. However, let's discuss your Democrats and how they are giving money to countries who are still holding people in slavery. Let's discuss that. Let's discuss the fact that in the public school system, kids are going without because of the Democratic Party. Let's also discuss what the Democratic Party is doing to try to divide this country into socialism. Let's also discuss how the Democratic Party is infringing on the Constitution and the Second Amendment rights. And why? Because everybody wants something for free. Go to work. Do your job. Live in your country. Support your neighbor. And do what you need to be a good human being. Don't be on Columbus, on the sidewalk, screaming trash comments like Democrats do. Preach it. Preach it. <laughs> okay, guys, does anybody understand just the plain red flag? Isn't that pretty much communism? Yeah. Isn't it? Like, why would you? Any of you guys want to live in a communist country? Uh, is, there, is there any communist country out there that's successful? No. And what are we going to do if it ever becomes communism here in America? Right, to, to our death, right? Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I thought.
you guys, you guys can see going that whole way. Yeah, I know. We had to get our clothes. <laughs> he said that and ignore them is why they get so big and out of control. If we snuffed them out, stomped them out, it'd be done and over with. This bullshit of sitting back, letting letting them act however the fuck they want is dumb. We will not comply. <laughs> we will not comply. <laughs> Ban the idiots. Talk that loud and talk not the gun. <laughs> huh? I didn't know you could yell cock that loud. And talk he just told me he was talking about a chicken. He didn't mention chicken first. Yeah. <laughs> I don't eat on day. Yeah. <laughs> Are your eyeballs floating blue? Is it 11 o'clock yet? Uh, All right. If you hand off, hand off your weapons here, and there's a restroom around the left side in the state house we can use. But you can't go in the state house with a weapon. Hey, Chappie, I'm going to put you over there. And I'm going to go out here with. <laughs> I get to go out front with the old. Uh, one for each hand and one for the foot. You made it in. That's not the yellow grass group. What the fuck? Are they covering underneath the yellow vest? Because there's no yellow vest here. Because the yellow vest was supposed to have the rally at 11. None of them were wearing a yellow vest, so did they use that as a cover to come out here and start a crowd? That's not cool. They watch these two because they're walking out too. So that's why I'm not playing for it. So I don't need to watch them. I told you she's a priest, so she don't care. I'm giving you, giving you 15 mics. She's carrying it too, by the way. I'm a spell Wow. This is our home. <laughs> Can I get everybody just start chanting home of the free? Home of the free. Home of the free. Home of the free. Woo! Totally do it. I'll do it. I don't care. Thanks, Joe, for sharing because I'm in Facebook jail and I can't share anyways in groups and some things I can't even post. So until I try it, I won't know if I can post or not, but I'm in Facebook jail per se or time out. So I can't post in groups or pages, just certain things. Jeremy is not here. He is working hard behind scenes, as well as Lisa and a few other of us are working behind scenes <coughs> to fight against that House Bill 228. We came to this rally to um, 
explain the House Bill 228 to this group and this is rally. Since this is a grievance rally, we had speakers. I even spoke to earlier. Um, we had speakers already earlier. And every now and again, people will get up here to speak. Uh, we have Antifa, if you notice over there. It showed up with the red flag. <laughs> they were up close to us, but the officers made them go to the sidewalk. But they're calling us racist pigs and stuff. So. Nazis. Nazis, communists. communists, and everything else. <laughs> and we're here <laughs> stating our grievances. Stating our grievances. They need to not run around that fast like that. Yeah. I thought something was getting ready to happen. <laughs> about the taxes and abortions. That's what this rally is about. Abortions and taxes and our rights and our freedoms and our constitutional. Right. If it was true, they have the right to do whatever they want. Yep. Now we're yeah, you're right. Many people in Ohio do not know. I went to gun stores yesterday and uh, I had no clue. A lot of the sheriffs two days ago had a meeting. All the sheriffs got together to discuss their HB 228 bill that they passed that nobody knew about. So now they're trying to figure out how they're going to go about this. Oh, we got an abortionist or something. Hold on. Okay, I gotta get that. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. My God. If it looks like that, I'm not treading on it. So how can you say that wasn't a lie? No, to you and that, was, that could have been killed. See how productive he was, how much good he's done on this earth? But to you, he could have been terminated because you considered what you did a mistake or... Yeah, what if your mom would have done that to you? No, what? I mean, I'm not wrong. And you wouldn't have a chance to be here and hold your flag. Well, what did you do? I mean, you went out and got laid. We are at this rally. You know, you are standing pregnant. up really for grievances, and it has to do with it's abortion. Murder. We're standing up against abortions, and, you know it, you and we have and this protester right here thought she'd come and come across. Anyway, we're here about grievances, about the ta tax hikes. We're here about our Second Amendment, our First Amendment, our Constitution, period. Our Bill of Rights. as a grown woman to stand there and challenge another woman to a debating conversation, but you're okay with ripping a child one the way. There is a purpose. Now we know she can't talk. Exactly. She can talk. She's a big mouth. She can 
I've talked to the horse. He, he can talk to you, but he can have a debating conversation yes. about okay. why is she can attack a child and not an adult. With her when she wants to talk. She never wants to talk one-on-one. -on -one. She doesn't have anything to say when she can't have a debating intellectual conversation with an adult. He's now like the mother of seven, but she has no problem with like, an unborn or a newborn child. So that, well, nobody, nobody was accosting her. We just wanted to know what the flight was. Well, uh, we all knew, I, I but I just wanted to hear. Right. where I got it from, but yeah. You know, they, they, they preach about what they want for this nation, and they show us what they want. They want to start killing babies at nine months. They want a socialist economy in which they, they're not even intelligent enough to know they're going to be starving to death with everybody else. You know, these people are so just in the mood to be in something, and because they're Democrats, they don't keep the thing to do. They don't even realize what they're asking for for their own future. Their intelligence level is the size of my pinky toe. Yeah. And well, honestly, I've met more tampons with more brains than people. And that's news to me. <laughs> uh, yes, Jane Randy Chapel, that, that, uh, yep, she's been removed. So, she, yeah, that, there's the real don't they, tread on me flag. Yeah, there's the real one. <laughs> they took, made her go to the sidewalk down there with Antifa with her flag but she's about abortions and things like that uh, she wasn't speaking she was just came in the middle of our rally shows her don't tread on me ovary reproduction flag but she wouldn't speak to us she kept silent The HB22 bill. We're getting petitions signed. Yes. He shot an I beam. You do this. This are grievances. He had a heat gun. Whiskey shot. Oh, wow. Whiskey shot. What was that? 38? Um, Jeremy? Yes. He's got gray hair. I don't know his name. But he was behind me in the coffee shop. And I was telling Ava, I said, we got one a person. His name's Jerry. Jerry? Jerry Santa Claus. The one stealing from the government. The one stealing from the government. They're hauling us. Um, we got him on camera saying he's working. <laughs> 
Yep, that's him. Anyways, he was behind me and Tim Hortons, and he was watching me hard, and I was telling Ava, I said, we got one watching me, and it's not in a good good way, and uh, we was standing in line to get coffee and hot chocolate, and once we got back to the rally, we, he showed up again. It's like he was following me, and it come to find out he is, I was told, anyways, that he is part of Antifa. He was avoiding the cameras there for a while, but we got him on these videos. But that's them right there on the sidewalk because the police officers told them they had to go to the sidewalk because this is a permitted rally and they are not welcome. So they can stand on the sidewalk. So they're out there talking about we're Nazis, we're racist, we're pigs. Actually, they actually called us cocks too, but hey, whatever. Not sure how long we'll be here. Um, it looks like it's going to be a little while. Uh, Yellow Vest was supposed to be here, and I was wondering why they aren't here. And I got to thinking maybe they made that because the, the Yellow Vest was supposed to be 11 till, um, I forget, 11 to something. Anyways, 11 o'clock came, and that's when these people showed up. So I don't, not sure if they hid behind a rally called the Yellow Vest or what. But here they are, because our rally started at 8. So we're dealing with that at this moment. Most of the speakers, including myself, spoke earlier. I did not do the live feed of me speaking, but um, Adam Kahn which is Adam C-O-N-N, -N, which is right there, did live feed me. And Ava talked too, and, and other ones too, but I couldn't live feed and talk at the same time because me and Ava was uh, holding the intercom in one hand while the other one talked. Clint, we already did the USA one and Freedom Chant, but we, where is the intercom? Who's got the intercom? Clint want us to say, we. what do we want freedom? When do we want it now? I told Skyler, I said, go uh, get the bullhorn. I said, and let them know if they want um, to engage that uh, we'll all be here March 28th and be felons. So uh, engage away. <laughs> White bullhorn. He uh, looks like some kind of fucked up cross between the Pillsbury Doughboy and Mr. Queen. I don't know whether to spit shine the floor with him or poke him in the face and go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do have a blowhorn here. They're wanting us to engage back. Every now and again, we will comment. We told them we would have a normal conversation with them if they'd like to, but all they keep saying is we're Nazis. And then we had one girl had a uh, don't tread on me with a female productive organ on her flag. What tactical guy? Because we got quite a few of them. Hold on a minute. We got that. We got tactical everywhere. Then we got police dogs. 
I guess we do have snipers up in the buildings too. Yep, that's her. Paige, that is her. She wouldn't talk to us. She just stood in the middle of us with her flag. And everybody was with the camera. Okay. Well, we got a lot of cameras, Paige. Some of us don't have big mouths. Huh? Just back up and do your thing up there. Do, do, do. Our perimeter. Our perimeter was Wait. Up there earlier. Right. So we are, be yeah, see the brown poles perimeter? Yeah, our perimeter was up here earlier. Crazy. Yeah, they're calling us Nazis and things like that, but and racist. But we have every type of American here, so I'm not sure what their deal is other than they want heard. Which is the First Amendment, but they don't have anything to back up their words. So, hey. <coughs> Might catch something. Huh? Might catch something. <laughs> but, yeah, they're calling us. Communists, they're calling us. What else are they? Nazis, they Nazis. called us a cock. Um, <laughs> racist. Yeah, they're calling us racist. Bigots. <laughs> That's the police siren. Look, they're cute. Oh, it works. Yeah, they're, yeah. Somehow we, we're racist. Can we get them for, um, even though, what are they calling the police officer? Yeah, <laughs> impersonating a police officer by using that. Yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah, impersonating an officer. Hey, don't point at people. Jeremy, yes, they will allow you to use the blowhorn. We have our own blowhorn. Yeah, we We're just blowhorn. trying to keep peace because this is not what it is about. This is about our rights. This is about our freedoms. Yeah, she can explain it better than I can. Well, bring it. Show me. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Julie. Uh, this is about our rights. This is about our freedoms. This is not about here. egos. That's a live video. Yeah. Showed up. There is not. Yeah, it's not about <laughs> egos and. There is a uh, Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm not good with that. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, this is about our freedoms, our constitution, our rights, our whatnots. And then people down there don't like it. And they don't like it. Yeah. yeah. They call. They're calling us communists. Uh, they're calling us communists, but look at the flag that yeah, they're holding. Look at their flag. What yeah. flag does that remind you of? Nazis, holding... Yeah, that's a Nazi flag. flag. That's a Nazi flag, and yeah. it's about. And yet, that's a communist. Country. Slavery and all the other stuff, but they're hollering and they're at, us. at us and calling us racist. Racist. But yet, but yet, we're not racist. I mean, we got. Nazis, go, go away. You hear him? You're no patriot. Clinton, we did talk are. about the new gun thing, uh, HV228. We do love America. 
I know. They're out there representing kill babies. <laughs> we are home. Our tax our tax dollars pay for this house as you're living off the government. All right. Where's that? Jeremy, we do have a blowhorn. It's around here somewhere. We have our own. We got extra batteries, too. There it is. So we have one.
I'm saying good. Ain't nobody hiding shit. There's nobody hiding here. Who's paying you? Is that? Oh, it's fucking cold out here. That's why it's cold. <coughs> uh, yeah, so it's been 50 today, and I don't know what the temperature is, but I still wore my one of my snow pants, not both of them. They're calling us racist, so we got Princess, she wanted the Confederate flag to prove that we're not racist, because we're not. They're calling us racist and Nazis and traitors and things like that. We love people! We love people! We love people! We love people! People! We love people! I wish that short little guy would step in here and put a finger on me. I really do. Really? Yeah. I know, but I do. I'm fed up. Watching her, her and I both got each other's back. Look at this. This just is awesome. This is truly awesome. Three percent, baby. You know it. Yeah. All Princess, the way. Cool it down so it kind of drinks. Thanks, Ace. Oh, look at this. I love it. Uh -huh. There you go. Here we go. Perfect. All right, I'll get another cup. There we go. Yeah, look at this. Good deal. Uh, uh, hey, said we need to watch right each here. other because we're going to play uh, slap a bitch if we don't watch right? each other. <laughs> they're sad because their they're numbers are huge. <laughs> 
Jeremy Dieter's on his way down. Oh, yeah. Jeremy Dieter's on his way. He said, I'm going to shut Jerry up. Hey, Dad, Jeremy's on his way down. USA, 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 Hi, everybody. I'm sorry I'm not reading messages and stuff because it's kind of a little crazy here. zapping my batteries <laughs> ever since I put zoom on my other phone on the other phone it won't keep a charge so I got to get the zoom and whatever else off the phone so I'm using this phone to do this while the other one's trying to charge on a battery pack because you know how Columbus is with the towers work you're saying we're not classy and all, but you're the wrong run, run around saying let's kill babies. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're down on the sidewalk. Right. Yeah, no 
That's good. I Thanks for sharing, Mike. I'm Facebook at timeout. I can't share in groups. Dang. He just went there. Shut the hook up. He went there. I'm going to try to go up high so people can see. Sorry, I'll get up high. I was trying to be, oh, well, actually, I was in the middle of it all, so I'll get out and up. <laughs> Go down right up. <sighs> My hand is freezing. That would be fantastic right now. A no. Besides a coffee, what? 
a car going by and just plowing them all off the sidewalk. <laughs> I'm not on the lawn. I'm on the steps, darling. We're on the pavement and our tax dollar pay for it. This is our house. Let's pray for it. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's we're going to pray. We're going to pray for our fellow protesters. Yeah. They need it. We are going, you know, to tell, show them the love of the people of America who really love. Okay? We are the ones who love you. And and we we stand here for our <laughs> we stand here to defend your right to protest and to be mean to us. But you know what? It's not worth Okay. Well dear Heavenly Father. Uncover. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for the representatives of Antifa coming out and showing their true colors. Um, we just thank you for this right that we live in America where it's free, where we have a country where we can um, voice our opinion, Lord. And we just thank you for that. We thank you for President Trump who is trying to save our country from the communism that has been tried to be begun. I just thank you that every day he says, we will not be a socialist country because that is not what your will is, Lord. And we and we just thank you for the freedom of religion. We thank you for the freedom of speech. We thank you for the right to be a people under God and under one country. We thank you that these people out here, the Antifa are safe, Lord, keep them safe. Um, you know, just <laughs> Lord, I just pray for their hearts to be softened, that their misguidance would be directed to you, Lord Jesus. Touch them. Touch their hearts. Till up the hardened soil of their souls and let them see their hatred and for what it is. And we just we just thank you that um, as we sow this seed into their lives, that somebody else will come along and fertilize it, and somebody else will come along and water it, and that it will grow. And we just thank you for this opportunity to be here with fellow patriots and of all shapes, sizes, and colors. And we thank you for our um, officers, our uh, police officers that are here protecting us, everybody. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good job. Good job. Sorry. Alright, all thanks for coming out for sure. We're still gonna hang out, but I wanted to thank each and every single one of you. For the rest of the day, they're not even here. Let's just ignore them. But don't even look at them. There's no point in it. It's taken away from what we're trying to do. We'll stand here. We'll continue to talk about what we want to talk about. We'll continue to fight for what we want to fight. They don't like it. We can't fly between the railings. No, we're still not president. No, we're still not president. And it's time to do shit. I'm just going to say this, Julie and I and a couple others, everybody knows about the March 28th event. We're yeah. all gathering here for our Second Amendment rights, March 28th, because, you know, if we don't get it fixed, we're out felons on the 27th anyway. So, Antifa, we will be here March 28th if you want to come and protest it as well. You are more than welcome. It is your constitutional right. And I will add minister this as strongly as I possibly can. If this law does not get fixed March 28th, we are all felons anyway. Yep.
and it would be a real, real dangerous situation showing up to a rally where all patriots there are felons and don't have anything to lose at that point. So, y'all are more than welcome to come and attend. Staff sorted, or war officer. You said you wanted it, so you got it. Yes. We ought to have time to think about it. Good afternoon. I think we all should uh, serenade our friends out here with a version of a national anthem. So who wants to sing along with me? <laughs> you remember the words? Hats off. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight last gleaming Moonlight and bright stars through the perilous light. In the realm that we watch, we're so gallantly dreaming. And the rock is right where the long bursting there came to through the Jenny Page says she loves you. Paige, I told her, but she's looking yeah, for a mobile device. Uh, this young lady right here has lost a black mobile device. It's, uh, it's about the size of a GoPro. It's laying around her somewhere. It's medical. She needs it. If everybody can take a quick look and see if they can find it. I don't know. 
Where, where, where are Ralph's room? She, was sitting, sure. she had everything sitting right there. Yeah, she was in this area, but she walked around everywhere. So I, I... Where's he going? It's big, like a mope, it's big. Right? It's the size of a cell phone, she said. So I don't know. It's not like it's under a bush. Something's beeping. Would that be it? Gotcha. I have no idea how much battery life I have because it don't show it when I'm live, but hey. Jeremy said he's on his way here. There he is. There's Jeremy and Lisa. Jeremy! Woo! Buddy! Jeremy! Jeremy! Yeah, that's actually cold. My hand is cold to want to hold the phone. Everything else, I got. Right here, brother. We got it for you. You guys don't mind. Here, let me hold the coffee, man. How are you? Jeremy, you got to stay in the circle. You got to stay in the circle. Oh, is this our area? This is our area. This is supposed to be yellow vest for them, I think, but they hid underneath it. Well, I'll support the Europeans and what they do. It doesn't bother me. What's going on? We'll go right up the sky dog in the black hole. So do we have like an area here? This no, we can go all the way to the monument. Okay. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Come here. Love you. And then what? Do you I got it. Oh, man. Yeah. At least. How can you? Jeremy, you want live on your phone too, or just mine? Oh, uh, however you want to do that. Yeah, we do. Well, here comes the helicopters. Did you tell them you was coming? Because <laughs> that's the first I've seen the helicopters. I got the blow horn. I'll bring it with you. Coming up with a speaker. Oh, good Lord. Hey, Tom units. Recognize my voice? able to embarrass an entire species in five words or less. How does that happen? And look at, look at the interest group that we're looking at here. Most of you should know better. Most of you understand the implications of fascism, socialism, and communism. How dare you stand there reaping the benefits of a capitalist nation of a constitutional republic you take advantage of what the United States patriots have given you so that you can stand there and bastardize it, making every single one of us look like idiots. How dare you? How dare you? You're flying the fascist colors. You're flying the Nazi colors. You're an embarrassment. You're a joke. You're an entire freaking joke. You make an entire species look like garbage. How is it that you can stand there in good conscience? How is that? You, sir, you have gray hair. You, well, I'm not sure, but you have gray hair. Uh, you right there with the gray beard. How dare you? The only thing I can, I can, hey, whatever you gotta do, partner, check it out. That freedom of speech you just expressed to me, it was fought and it was died for. You're welcome. Congratulations. You're in a free land. If you get what you want, you won't be able to do that anymore. Think about it, Einstein. Go ahead, try to drown me out. It's hard to hear the truth, isn't it? 
That sucks. You're like a bunch of damn children. You're going to have to grow up. You're going to have to grow up at some point in time. How is it that in five words or less you're able to embarrass an entire species? That is absolutely ridiculous. Doesn't matter what you want to hear, partner. You're going to listen to me today. You're going to listen to free men and women today. You have no choice. You came to our event, Albert. Think about your choices. You will listen to free men and women. Your communism is not impressive. Your socialism is not impressive. Nobody cares. And, and why is it that all over the forums online, the Europeans are begging us to not lose our guns? How is that? How is that? From Eastern to Western Europe, to Canada, to Australia, to New Zealand, everybody tells us, do not lose your guns. Who in the hell paid you 12 morons to be here? How does that happen? It's 2019, people. We've been to the moon. How in the hell does someone convince you to stand here in opposition to the thing, the only thing that can keep you free? How does that happen? <laughs> Listen, I don't have a high level of formal education, but I'm still on the right side. What the hell's your excuse? What is wrong with you? How is it that you're over there as opposition to the people that are chanting freedom? And, and were you born here? Whatever that guy, whatever that short guy is saying to you is a lie. Good. You know my name? Don't forget it. It's the name of a free man that will always stand in opposition to you. And guess what? I'll bring my friends and we believe in the Second Amendment. So I wish you the best. Yeah. We're actually, I, I know that you guys are going to have a hard time understanding this, but we're actually standing here for you as well. We're actually standing here for your benefit. You may disagree with us, but we will vehemently defend your right to do so. And that is one of the major sustaining differences between us. I know it's a complex idea for you. I know that it's hard for you to wrap around your brain because you do not have that sense of compassion for your countrymen and women. That's why you have 12 of you. That's why no one of any serious character will stand with you. That's why you have a 55-year-old communist standing there who knows damn well better. And then what does he do? What does that guy do? He tries to rally a bunch of young dudes around him. Why is that? Because most people his age will not talk to him. Will not hang out with him. He has to hang out with people that have a lower level of maturity. That's his only choice. I would love for you to be able to have some kind of a dialogue with us, but we know you're incapable, partner. The only thing you can do is this, throw a catchphrase into a bullhorn. That's it. That's all you got. There is no integrity. There is no intellect. You have no ability whatsoever to be able to dialogue with us. None. None. Go ahead. Just, just spout one word into the bullhorn, and then wait, and then spout another word. That's all you're good for, partner. That's it. That's all you got. That's all you can do. Alright, you made it evident there is absolutely no way to have a conversation with you, so I'm gonna leave it with this. And Tifa is scum! 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 I didn't get a chance to hug you when you came on the Sorry. Woo! What a way to start the day out. Yeah, yeah. We were at home chilling and I heard his dumb ass and I was like, oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I gotta go. I gotta get there. That's ridiculous. Yeah, no, I appreciate you guys having me. Like this is our home. We pay for it. This is our house. This is not the lawn. It's boots on the ground, baby.
Some things are just too important. Right. Some things are just too much. Everything's still pretty good. 28. It's, yeah, I bet his mom likes that one. I won't be wearing that. Yeah, no, that's.
If I could borrow uh, a little bit of time from the Patriots, we're going to ignore the uh, uh, peanut gallery over here, and we're going to spend some of our own time up here. Right. No, it's not Ernest. <laughs> Let's leave the children alone. <laughs> <laughs> My mom said no fighting. <laughs> I love you, mom. I'm not fighting. I'm standing up for our rights. See. I know. I wonder how many people are here uh, from the Columbus area that are around here pretty immediately, and then versus versus uh, folks that had to show up from out of town today. How many of you are from uh, a little bit outside of Columbus? Show of hands. My God. Me. Look at that. Look at y'all. Keep your hands up for just a second. Look around at each other real quick. Allen County. Look at that. Tell you what, that's dedication right there. I wish we would have had more Columbus people to help represent this with y'all, and, and, and you deserve that. And I, I wish that would have happened, but nonetheless, we appreciate you guys being here. The uh, much like impetuous children, they're going to do their best to uh, try to interrupt us. Let, let's not allow them to do that. Uh, we can always drown them out with a freedom chant, and, and it works really well. So if we need to, we will. But I want to spend a little bit of time talking to you guys. The sign up here. That talks about 228. The reason why we're here today. All of the states that are talking about red flag laws. All of the states that have already passed some of it. And all of the states that are trying to right now. Uh, we see this incredible change. Nancy Pelosi is talking about a uh, federal uh, gun ban. That's, it'll, be, it'll be every state. Mom, the ones that are arguing with us And all of us Antifa. understand the implications. Unlike our friends out there. We get it. We understand what this means. But everybody, and tell me if I'm wrong, but everybody's kind of looking around wondering, you know, we see this, we have this sense of urgency in our gut, and, and what do we do? What is the next step? How do we get people to wake up? Everyone's kind of looking for solutions and looking for answers. Everybody wants to know, you know, does my patriotism actually have a solution? Is there something that can be done? And I believe that there is. I, I do believe there is. What we've seen concerning this date with all these folks from out of town in the House Bill 228 is an incredible resurgence of people that it, they may not even have a whole lot of knowledge on this bill, but they feel like you do. Everybody sees that we're losing our nation. Everybody sees it's not just gun rights, it's culture. That, that it, 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 it encompasses so many different things. And now they're coming here on March 28th. They're going to stand with us. And everyone's going to see what the might Name of this calling. nation's patriots looks like. Every, everyone's, everyone knows this is just the beginning. All that today, this is the prelude. This is letting them know that if you're going to turn everybody into felons overnight and prove what a lot of people have been saying for a long time, that there are people in elected and appointed positions that are no more than our enemies. They may be called senator. They may be called step rep, state rep. But they are our spoken enemies. Anybody, and I'll say it on the state house steps again, anybody who tries or attempts to take away your gun rights is your enemy. Period. It doesn't matter. They could be one of your countrymen or women. They could be a, a born and bred American. But much like those guys out there, born and bred Americans, they don't understand or they're being paid to or in their heart they're seriously running an agenda as your enemy and much like any other enemy that's actually just a coward they're not going to tell you to your face they're not going to say hey by the way i'm here to take over your nation and i'm from another one and as soon as we get a bunch of us here we're taking it over oh by the way hey i'm a socialist and, and right now i'm going to play along and i'm going to use the capitalist game to further my agenda but as soon as i can i'm taking you down we're well aware we know we're losing this nation. We know we've lost parts of this nation. 
and, and it's not just about standing up to the morons. It's about standing up to people in very powerful positions and having an effective way to do that. Well, March 28th is going to be one of those days, but that motivation that this nation has right now, that drive, we're not going to let it go. We're not going to let it go to waste. We're going to continue to allow it to grow. And here's my idea. Now, listen, I understand. This is just an idea, all right? And it's, it's, it's kind of a, well, it's kind of a ballsy thing to do, to, to present to a lot of people, if, especially if it's a stupid idea. And uh, I'm definitely capable of that. <laughs> if each state, if the patriots in each state had a way to represent themselves and show themselves on a piece of paper, on a charter, that said, in my state, I have grievances because I believe that there's things that are going on that are unconstitutional. So I'm going to be counted as one. You can count me as one. And then if everybody in that state does that, and then everybody in the next state does that, and it's up to the militias and the patriot groups to make sure you have an updated list. So if you've got your militia, and then you've got your militia, and you've got your militia, and all of you have your own signatures, you've got to get together. What does that do? It promotes cohesiveness between the militias and the patriot groups. So everybody's list is updated for that state. Then everybody has their number posted for their state. Say Ohio has 100,000 people that are like, look, and this is what I was getting to with the patriots around the nation that will be here at the 28th. Everybody is sick of it, and they're just ready to stand, period. We, we, we can just go through, whether it's abortion or gun rights or whatever it is, everybody is sick of watching the nation go away. We're, we have no idea what our children and our grandchildren are going to inherit at this point. We have no idea what this place is going to look like. We're pretty sure that we're the last generations that will stand for this nation, and we're willing to do it. Yeah. So if we have, and that's why people will be here on the 28th. So if we have each state reporting this is how many patriots we have total that are willing to stand. And then this state. Then we take that number, and if it totals, if it's equivalent or over 3% of this nation's national population, then we enact the second part of the charter. And we give ourselves one year to get together and meet all of the nation's patriots. Everybody who signed, all of the members, get together and form a Congress. What you do at that point is all of the militias, everybody, is going to be responsible for two things. Your grievances that you have and the solutions that you wish to present. Then everybody's vote counts as one. Right. If you're a member, you get to vote on what it is we do next. You look at all of, this, all of the solutions and you vote on which one it is that you want to do. That means that we can go from a new declaration of independence and be all the way to that side of the spectrum to let's form another political party, a new political party. Whatever it is that the nation's patriots choose to do at that point, they will set the tone for what this nation does next. Now look, that's just my idea, but I don't want to let this motivation die. Nope. I don't want the patriots to think that they're standing alone, that there isn't enough of us, because I know it's not true. Julie knows it's not true. Eva knows it's not true. Lisa knows it's not true. Joe knows it's not true. Most people know it's not true. It's what they want us to believe. You know, those are the folks that bought into the mainstream media, and every time they get on a bullhorn, they sound like the federal government. Did y'all hear him saying that we're conspiracy theorists? You ever heard that before? You know? Yeah. Kind of makes you wonder how much those guys are getting paid. Yeah, well, we know we have shackles on us, yeah. and, and we, uh, we don't we mind breaking break. them. We know we can break. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But one way to realize our strength and realize our our identity is to be able to stand together. If we can stand together and show that there's a large enough number on us like on March 28th, then that's going to change not just the lawmakers' minds, but it's going to change ours as well. We're going to be able to see what we're capable of. And once we realize that, then we see that whatever it is that we want, we get. 
and we're the people that are actually fighting for reason. And come March 28th, oddly enough, we'll be the only people that are actually obeying the United States Constitution and the law of the land. Yep. And here's some strange irony. I don't know if you've thought about this, but the snipers that they like to put on the rooftops when we have these events, think about this. On March 28th, it'll be illegal for them to do so. Right. That's, a, that's a weird irony. That's really strange, you know? Uh, from that point, are we supposed to believe that if SWAT team has to kick in somebody's door, that all, all of SWAT's going to come in with pistols? Right. You know, you know what I mean? Do you, do you think about what they did here in Ohio. Think about what the state house actually did, right? They got rid of uh, the, the long guns, the rifles, the shotguns, anything over 26 inches. But do you guys know what type of firearm kills more people than anything else? A pistol. A pistol. You're absolutely right. So think about... Think about what they did. This was supposed to be for your safety, right? But they made sure that the one gun that is the most responsible for actually killing people is the one that you can still have the most access to. That's how much sense these, well, and those people make. You know, we're sick of it. And the nation's getting ready to stand with us. Prepare yourselves. And I appreciate you guys giving me a moment to talk. And if you think what I had to say as far as that idea was any good, or if you think it's garbage, let me know either way. It's just an idea, and, and I think that it's, it's time that we start to use that creativity and use that imagination and use our ingenuity and start to come up with ideas. This is just one guy's idea. Out, out in the crowd here, there's probably people with a lot better ones. So let's start to create those and cultivate those and try to find ways to make sure that we stay motivated. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. I've already talked today. I had to actually talk earlier. Oh, okay, nice. Everybody give Jeremy a round of applause. Hey, he, he hit me a right on the head, guys. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. It all comes down to unity. All of it. I don't care what organization you're with. There's a lot of different militia leaders here. A lot of different patriot group leaders here. We all need to get on the same page. I'm not saying we all need to wear the same uniform, fall under the same rank structure, or start with the same law, because we all know that probably will not work. Um, in our organization, the Greek Association of American Patriots, we all are go-getters. Ninety percent of us want to take lead, want to take point, want to be a leader. The reason their organization does as well as they do is ten percent of them want to be leaders, the rest of them want to follow. They want to tuck in and do what they're told. That's the truth. So if us as militia leaders and Patriot group leaders can get on the same page, finally sit down and, and put our egos aside for the great of our nation. That is where we'll start winning. Like what Jeremy said, getting everybody together, forming a Congress, maybe a different political party. Maybe that's where we need to go with it. But it's going to take uniting each and every single Patriot in each and every single state in order to do it. It's going to take all of us. Dan Kesh. We've argued back and forth before, but we're standing here today as brothers. Yeah, I'm sure I've argued with other people. Uh, Blue, where are you at? I've argued with your big ass a couple times. He's out there. But, <laughs> you know, and, and we're going to. We all have that drive, that motivation, and that eagerness. And we're going to bump heads. But we have to realize that when that happens, turn the other cheek, it's done, it's over with. We all have a common goal. Exactly. And that's what I want to get at. All patriots across the nation have the same goal. Granted, there's some organizations that have different protocols than others, and that's fine. If everybody was the same in America, it would be boring. Yep. Extremely boring, and I don't like boring. I like a variety. That's why I stay single. But that's besides the point. <laughs> We've just got to unite. We've all got to get on the same page. I don't care who you are, what organization you're with. I'll stand with you. Stand with me. 328. It's going to be, has the potential to be intense. Because make no mistake about it, we show up here and we flood this Capitol building, they're going to try to stomp us out. I, for one, will not be arrested. I won't. If I have to show up here as a felon, then I will conduct myself as a felon. They've tied our hands at that point in time. I'm not saying that we need to take to the streets and pillage and everything else. That's not what I'm saying. But we need to take to the streets and stand our ground. 
no matter what that takes. Um, you know, and, and we all kind of fell short today by responding to that bullshit. Um, on the 28th, I'm sure they'll be here, but uh, let's just ignore them. They're not worth our time, not worth our effort. We're, we're staying here, we're, we're doing what we need to do. They can hold their red flag with their thumbs in their ass all day. I don't care. Doesn't bother me a bit. They're free to do whatever the hell they want. Um, but none of us came out here today attacking anybody. Uh, no name calling, nothing like that. Again, I appreciate each and every single one of you that came out. I know the weather sucks. It's been uh, lovely Ohio weather, but uh, spring's right around the corner, so I look forward to working with each and every single one of you. I know Major Blackhuff out there, my CEO, that's currently trying to hold a dialogue. Looks like he's doing pretty well. Uh, God be with him. But, uh, thanks, guys. God bless you all. And uh, it's been a very interesting day. I'm glad I got to meet you guys. If you haven't got or signed your name and got your contact information over here at the table, please do that. That way we can all start to network and get stuff figured out. Yep, she said it. God bless America. God bless you all. Who else wants this horn? Somebody wants it. Nobody? Nobody wants to talk? Did he just say I was paranoid? It's Antifa. It's not going to matter whether it's the the communist flag and everything out there on the street. They're calling us Nazis. It's not going to matter about
But March 28th, we're going to be here, one way or the other. We're really hoping we can call it a celebration. But if we can't, then we're going to show it. It's going to stand. I mean, we may not step back and let this happen because this happens here. It will happen state by state. And before we know it, we will have no second party. And we're going to be dancing and we're going to You know, she's already openly said we're coming after the death. So what we need to do is drop all of the other horse shit that these groups have going on and every other topic and stand right in front of her and say, no bitch great, not today or any other day, because the second I will not be infringed on. <laughs> I don't want to talk. talk. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. I don't know. Give it to somebody. No. You got to push the button for it to be off. There, look. Oh, wait. I turned the camera on me. How do I turn it back around? There we go. All right. There we go. Are you good? Yep, I'm good now. Squeeze the trigger button. You can squeeze. You don't have to hit that button, Julie. You can just squeeze the trigger button. Ain't that nice? They're giving you a salute. Andrew, it is um, the March 28th rally is for the House Bill 228. This was a red and grievance rally today. I'm sorry the phone shaky. It's kind of cold out here, guys. That's all I got to say. You go back 100 years, go back 50 years. I'm learning this speaking stuff, I guess. <laughs> Anybody else want to speak? Anybody else want to speak? Open mic. All right, I'm going to end this live feed because I'm looking for coffee. <laughs> I need some coffee, but uh, there's live feeds everywhere, but I got to end mine because my battery's about to die again. Love you guys.